Hello, 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 hello. And welcome to this final boss fight live stream of D&D. My name is John. Hello, Random Sean and the Obsolete Goat. Hello, hello, yellow, hello, hello, hi, how you doing, etc. My name's John and I'm joined by Kiri. Hello. By Sean. Hello. And by Richard. Hello. And we are here to play some D&D. Tanny will be along in about 15 minutes or so when they get home from work. Uh, AJ is currently a cardboard cutout and Snicket is still on holiday. No idea who, who, whomst amongst you would like to take the uh, recap? There's a lot of talking. There was a lot of talking. Um, uh, uh, a bit of context. Uh, we captured the the would-be assassin of moi and uh, obviously go to the fantastic uh, another rendition of him. Um, let's see. Um, we tied them up to a chair and just sort of began the whole questioning thing. I took a bit to try and wake them up because I was unfamiliar with their sort of weird fiend biology. They didn't, um, hmm? they didn't have a face. Yeah, they also didn't have a face. It was on the or floor. Just a face off. Yeah, it was. It was wild. Do I still have that? I mean, it's it's still covered in a demonish ichor, I believe. Oh, gross. Hmm. Probably wash it off or something. Um, uh, we learned that I wrote the the Lords of Waterdeep and their secrets, uh, a published book that uh, has been described by its subject base as a thorn in their side. Um, uh, a lot of uh, supposedly the book has been out of print, struck down for hearsay, and, and accusing uh, the people in power. Um, it's got a lot of information about demon cults and the, uh, Lords of Waterdeep's relation to them. Um, I, uh, picked up, uh, Volume's Silver Wedding Bands, uh, uh which are very pretty. Um, uh, I mean, I feel about... there's, I feel there's an important step between you discussing all this stuff and you picking up the wedding bands. Oh yeah, I kind of, I kind of snapped Valum's neck. Um, there you go. <laughs> and then we went right back to the book um, after realizing that, uh, yeah, well, um, uh, we there uh, we don't know this, but we the players know this that um, Valum's. Uh, not quite, not patron. Patron's the wrong word. Um, contractor? Uh, cruel master snagged him in a couple of traps. Um, contractor. Uh, knows that Villum failed. Um, yeah. Uh, and then we went back to reading the book, uh, which included... And we got a bit of... Uh, more information sort of surrounding uh well the i it didn't even write down his name um the guy who doesn't really like me and said demon skill what are the water, lords of water deep um the old never ember yeah that guy um we guy probably learned... will never come up again oh probably probably not right probably not he wouldn't come all the way up here yeah, I, 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 it's not like I sent him. I sent uh, Valum packing with a threat to him, at all. No, it's fine. It's not, he's, he's, he's got a very, he's got a very like forgettable name. He's probably just like some rubbish NPC. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very uh, forgiving, I'm sure. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Um, 
we learned about uh, something called the Lost Spire, um, which, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, is like a uh, long lost wizard artifact, uh, or at least the top of a, a city, some it's, would say. It's a portion, a, a, a segment of a missing building, uh, or missing city. Uh, a, a long lost ancient city a portion of it is rumoured to be hidden somewhere within the tundra yes um so quest objective number one uh quest objective number two is sunblight fortress uh y'all may remember this from the time that we uh kicked the absolute crap out of some Duragar. um that is sort of another place of interest that the uh demon people who keep trying to kill me uh had dealings with uh as well as the knights of the black sword um a secret society devoted to list uh levistus um and uh they whenever they're killed their body freezes solid for nine days yeah you we know, then went to sleep things. yeah with, the, with normal things normal things for people to do um uh, and then we kind of went to sleep and took a long rest. <laughs> yeah. If I remember correctly. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. There was a lot of theorizing and a lot of talking. A lot of notes were being taken. And Carrion made Rat, Damon, Rat, Rat Berry fly around like an airplane. Yes, he did. It's, it's very true. And if you it's go back and watch... Important. The, the mm -hmm. VODs or the YouTube video for the A Familiar Problem stream, you'll find out what Rat Berry was up to just before he became an aeroplane. Ooh. Yeah. <clears throat> Crossovers. The, advent the Adventures of Rat Berry, father! <laughs> the Adventures of Rat Berry and Barry and Drift and, and there were two Bobby. Others. And there were two others there, but they, they're nowhere near as important as Rat, uh, Rat Berry and Barry. Bowie! I couldn't deal with that voice. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. Uh, anyway, uh, back, back to the serious D&D &D game we have going here. Yeah. Because it's, it's never amusing times here. No. It's uh, cold. It, it's cold and, and it's bad. Um, cold. De deathly serious at all times. So, um... Airplane sounds. Uh, Dax, you have theorized that the best route out into the tundra to get a. to try and search for this missing spire, the lost spire, is to head up to East Haven and head out west from there. East from there. I can do compass roses. You mm mean? -hmm. I don't think he can. <laughs> is is to head from uh, Dugan's Hole up via Goodmead and out to East Haven, and then continue to go east, which will lead you out into the tundra. Uh, is it a fair assessment to say that is your current plan as you wake up this brand new day, whatever day it happens to be this day? That yes. is my plan, yes. Day, day, daisy, day, day, day. Uh, I would like to collect the mask and try and, like, clean the demon icker off of it. Okay. I mean, wasn't it like melty, burning stuff? Like, wasn't good to touch. Uh, if you grab it by the outside of the face... To remember, I'm not going to make thing. you roll for it. You're just you, you're very careful. You you manage to not get anything on your skin. Mm. Um. You you wash it clean in in a. I don't know. What do you wash it clean in? Probably just like a bucket of water. Okay. Bucket. You, you get a bucket of water and you wash the mask clean and you 
you now have a clean version of, of a sort of porcelain mask that at one point was much more animated when it was attached to the loam's face. It's now an inanimate porcelain or bone mask. Can't quite be sure what it's made up of. Well, I'm keeping it anyway. It's made out of blue tack. Yeah, just <laughs> straight blue tack. That yep. would be... I would love to see a mask just made out of blue tack. It sounds almost impossible. <laughs> impossible to remove, well, yes. Google. <laughs> I'm sure someone's done it. Someone has done it. You head out early in the morning... And as you're on the road, the sun rises as much as the sun rises at the moment, which is to say, not not very much. The grey clouds get like a little bit lighter. Um, and it takes you about two hours to travel from Dugan's Hole into Goodmead. And you blast through Goodmead because there's not a lot there and not a lot of reason to stop. It's a it is a bigger town than Dugan's Hole is, but not by a huge amount. Inquiry. Yes. The direction we would be going out, would it be going near the that giant's cave, or are we going a completely different way? Uh you'd be going a completely different way. Well, we're being in that, then, aren't we? Never mind. Well, uh, but... I mean, would you get to Dugan's Hall? You could stop us if there was something you wanted well, to get. Well, we we left two magic items sitting in a sarcophagus in that cave. We left two magic items sitting in a sarcophagus in that cave. Yeah, because we couldn't yeah. take them. They were cut. They're cursed. But I can oh. I can now I can now deal with curses. <laughs> I, I stop. <laughs> I, I stop my uh, my speak. bird. Thank you. Uh, I stop my axe peak and I go. Hold on. You can deal with curses. I I can I I I, I can remove curses. Jog me memory. What was the um, what were the magic items again? Uh, there was a wand of the War Mage and a Pearl of Power. Pissed up? I mean, how, how far about away would we have to go? Uh, it would be a four-hour trip. Was it a four-hour trip to the cave? Let me double-check the information about the cave. I thought that was... Please hold, it is a by by Axbeak, it is a four hour trip from Goodmead to the cave and then a four hour trip back again. So it would take the day to get there and back. That's I mean, that would at least be to make it that I have my third, my my more powerful spells, not my third level ones. What? What am I talking about? What? <laughs> I mean, that seems like quite a detour. Hey, but but cool shit. Think of the cool shit. I suppose the question is, what what are we trying to do right now? Is it get cool shit or? Because we're literally going to an abandoned, like, tower, wizard tower that was part of a wizard city that's going to be full of cool shit. Keep your voice yeah, but that's down. Not, why we're not, going. not everyone knows about that. And the secret society that we have to keep watching out for. Cool. Especially if, if assassins are being sent after some of us as well. Right, there is also the assassins. Let let keep on, you know, on mission. But cool. Hmm, magical items. Um. All right. Uh. Oh. 
We're not... I mean... It would benefit us in the long run to have those things. And then that's assuming we don't run into any bother on the way there or back. Yeah, it's looking like a bit of a day trip. Hmm. We could, um... Well, uh... Doesn't AJ know that new spell that sorts out camping? Uh. <laughs> uh AJ opens his mouth and just static. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just uh, close the beak. <laughs> AJ does indeed have uh, Leoman's tiny hut. Ooh. Right, well... Which does mean you could more easily camp... Uh, ...at the cave, uh, which could potentially, if I can find a map of... If I had one of these screens giving me a map of Boulder, uh, Boulder's Gate, if I had a map of Boulder's Gate, that would be doing me no good at all. Yeah, that's 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 very far south, job. Yeah, we get in there. <laughs> Extremely far south. What are we doing over there? Uh, uh, it'd probably take you about the same length of time to get from from the caves. Uh, back to East Haven, actually. So, if you travel north to the caves, that's four hours. And then, say, three or so hours to get from there to East Haven, instead of four back down to Goodmead. Could just keep going to East Haven, still make progress. No, no, it'll, no, no, it'll still be the day progress. of travel, but yes. you get the stuff. I get hours. What what are we trying to do right now? Make it so that people can be more effective in fighting, which we're probably going to have to do in this place. I don't think that is what we're trying to do. Yeah. We are trying to get. We are trying to you, get you got, at least. You've got, a, you've got a choice. You, we could go there, and I could get a snazzy wand that will make my spells more powerful, which would make me a more effective team member. I mean, I mean, quite, quite frankly, Carrie, I'm not always sure how I feel about you getting more powerful, but like, says you. <laughs> Well, Harry, by all means, if you want to go to the cave... Fine, he turns his dirty and starts hitting the way we went. And that was the last we saw of Harry. No, come on. Ed, Ed, ignoring the wand for a second, I know most of the people in this in this party are spellcasters. Having a Pearl of Power would be helpful, no? Yep. Yeah. But are we are we going to have to make a detour for every time there's the possibility of getting an item? No, but these ones we just know are there. Do we know they're there? Are they? Uh, we know we left them there. We know we left them there. Harren is sinking off into the distance. Yeah, he's not even like slowly going. He's yeah. full on. I mean, he's. I, I don't AJ know will be if... following. Hmm. I don't know if it's a good AJ, AJ's in the little cart that's on the <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea to, 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 to give in to <laughs> to give in to carry in when he just decides to wander off I mean and what we make it up to East Haven and meet him there I, I don't know like I mean is he just gonna? Is he gonna get his own way because he decided to go? You did tell him that he could go if he wanted. That is true. And that, that's entirely his decision. Yes, 
now we're left with the conundrum of do we go after Carrion? Or do we continue on? Uh, where exactly? We need to get to what? The. We need to go north more. Mm. Right. Yeah, from where you are, it's it's uh, sort of a northeasterly direction to East Haven. I mean, uh, you know, part, part of my. We've got to find the spire. We're also meant to be trying to find Cherish's family, and the more time that passes from when they went missing, the harder it's going to be to find them. How long would it take to get to East Haven from here directly? About two and a half hours. Oh. Oh, wow, that is a long detour. And that's it. That's assuming we don't bump anyone else who needs our help, that we don't run into any monsters or assassins or. You know, that giant's family's turned up when they didn't get any response to the letters. I'm pretty sure that, like, we killed all that giant's family. Well. Maybe they've got some friends and. But do you take my point that it's not necessarily. I, I, just... Yeah, I, I take your point, but it is. Carrion is already gone. We'll have to wait for him in. We'll either have to go with him or wait for him in. East. Uh... I mean, right now, and I know this is difficult because they're it... not here, I would it... put this to cherish because. <laughs> I, I'm now I'm now under like my idea of a contract a deal to to get her family back. And that that is that is I take that very seriously. We both turn to cherish. <laughs> <laughs> Tea posing on the back of her next week. And now if you just hold while we have a quick commercial okay, break. Wait right while... here for half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh. <laughs> hey, I don't just, just John, slow, just play some really dramatic, <laughs> ever building tension music, and just slowly <laughs> zoom in on Charity's face. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just. It, oh, we're gonna lose the. Is. We're look. We're gonna let's lose let's, the day now. Either let's way. Let's go after him. Yeah. <laughs> So we will we will follow Carrion. You manage to catch up to Carrion, despite him having at this point about a fifteen minute head start as you debate whether to follow him or wait for him at the other end. Uh, Carrion's question... already at East Haven, he's already got in, grabbed them. <laughs> you you question amongst yourselves whether he would abandon the group if you tell him to go away. Yeah, that's the big thing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, learn about priorities. Is you know. Yeah. Sure. A few this... minutes uh, after you set off, you look back over your shoulder, and AJ is following you, and you see slightly further back, Cherish, uh, Dax, and Brim are also now riding along uh, behind you. Do you slow to wait for them, or...? A tiny bit. Okay. <laughs> you all arrive at the familiar three cave entrances. Doesn't appear to be any different to the last time you were here. Besides the fact that all the, the foodstuffs is gone, yeah? Oh, you, that was the last time you were here. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. You you gathered that up and you took that back. Um, right, yeah, of course. You head Where's inside and there is a... Uh, there is a tomb. And in the divot in the floor, you do indeed find a wand and a pearl. So... Now, how cursed is this exactly? Is it like we touch it and well, then we die, or is it just... It, it's a, it's the curse that if you take it out of the sarcophagus, you won't be able to get... You won't be able to get respite. 
oh. at all. You won't I... be able to sleep. Wow. That... That sucks. Which is why we looked for them. In order to go back and get them. Which, considering we were going to be going very far away, I thought it would be an idea to go and... You know, I, I, you, I saw this. You, you made this point about four hours ago. I, uh, we're here now. So I, I, I think yeah, it's touch. So I place my hand on the wand first. I'm not want to get, not taking it out. Take your, your, your place my hand. Okay. And uh. And eyes are going to flash kind of the, the bluish green that my magic Ooh. seems to form. And I'm going to do a heck and remove curse on him. You heck and remove that curse. <laughs> And you have a plus one wand of the war mage. Woo! The and wand of the I war mage I... requires attunement. You gain a bonus to your sp uh, plus one bonus to spell attack rolls, and you ignore half cover. Oh. That's pretty and, good. And again, I, I get the pearl. Like once again, before I take it out or anything, I. Rest, rest my hand, and again, just to clear the spell slot, it, I, I, I do the same to the pearl as well. Uh, you gain a pearl of power. This also requires attunement by a spellcaster. You can use the pearl of power to regain one expended spell slot. If it is fourth level or higher, your new spell slot is third level. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know why they word it like that. Why don't they just say like a spell slot up to third level? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I, I assume possibly yeah. it's because you might use a higher level spell slot. You regain it rather than like using a. Yeah, it, it's a weird way of wording it to sort of get around. Well, I've only used my fifth and sixth level spell slots, but I can't use the pearl of power. Yeah. But you probably wouldn't need yeah, to because way. you've still... Anyway. Uh, you have the pearl. <laughs> we got a pearl. We got a wand. All is good in the world. So uh, I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to turn around with both items. If everyone's fine with it, I'm going to take the wand. If anyone yeah. else wants the pearl, they can have it. I mean, it would be... It would be useful... For most people here, really. <laughs> I think AJ, probably. A AJ and Dax can make use of it. I don't really do much with spells, though. Not really. AJ yeah, think... does use a lot of spells. Yeah. so AJ I... does lose a fair whack of spells. I, I feel that AJ would be very happily taking the Pearl of Power. Then I hand it over sensibly rather than throwing it because he was about to throw it and then he thought well actually what if I accidentally drop it and it goes into a hole or something so I better not throw it it's probably a bad idea to throw it so I'm going to hand it over okay do you then from where you are travel directly to East Haven yes Ye okay wand of the you say the wand that war mage plus one, didn't you? Yes. Two equipment. You spend the rest of the afternoon and some of the early evening, and by early evening I of course mean the time in Icewind Dale at the moment where the sun has set and it is dark. Mm -hmm. uh, because the sun sets at around 2pm. Yay. Um, winter. You arrive into East Haven, and 
I need to remember what's in East Haven. Couple, uh, of, couple of places that you can is, spend the night. I'm trying to remember, is East Haven the one where it's a lot of, like, like thievery is legal or something? Uh, East, something. East Haven is the pickpocketing place, yes. Yeah. Pickpocketing is legal. Is Pickpocketville. Uh, so this is the location with both the Wet Trout and the White Lady Inn. Do you have preference of where you would like to stay for the night? Oh, we stayed in the White Lady before, after we got that seance. I think we did, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah that sounds good. The, the White Lady is the inn owned by Ronaldo, the halfling commoner. Um, who plays a certain musical instrument that I won't name because the last time I named it we got the highest viewed clip on the channel. Is it a stringed instrument that you play with a bow, John? <laughs> he, he does indeed have a stringed instrument that, that one might play with a bow. Uh, I'm not going to say. That he is fond of plucking. According to oh, the information no, in the book, it's not no, it's not a no. I'm not saying it. <laughs> um, you can't make me. <laughs> I I won't make you. You, uh, you spend a restful evening in the. Uh, Sean says, however, go on, Sean. You know you want to. He's a plucking fiddler! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> um, you spend a, a evening in the uh, common room of, of the White Lady Inn. Um... Well, we have a Tanny in the game now. I assume that means there's a Tanny joining the calls shortly. Very cool. Uh, Maybe. Maybe. Dax. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. What, what is Dax drinking this evening? Uh-oh. Oh, I don't know. Um, what does Dax uh, tend to drink? I think, like, uh, beer or... Yeah, something like beer. At one point, when you are on your own and separated from the rest of the group, going to get your round of drinks in, somebody taps you on the shoulder. I'm going to spin round, because this is pickpocket town, and be like, you know, hand on a sword, <laughs> hand on the money bag. Oh. Sean? Huh? Oh uh, no! Sorry, that's that's not what I. That's that's not what I'm doing. Um, I. I feel like I recognise you, sir. I. I don't know. I I just get a sense that I know you. Do you know me? Do do I know them? Sean, would you describe who he sees in front of him? So, stood in front of you is a girl, young lady, hard to tell. She is, kind of has quite a childish character to her. She looks half-elf. She's in an oversized coat, quite misfit sort of boots. It's got a bow with her. Lots of green-tinted makeup on. Um, a few green streaks through her hair. Looks kind of out of place, but... At the same time, like, she's dressed for the winter, so she can't be that far out of place. Um, but she's definitely kind of timid and curious. You don't the... recognise this person. Oh, um, I don't think we've met. No, uh, my name is, is Dax. 
And what what is your name? Hi. Um, my name's Moss, and I don't. I'm a little bit lost. Um, I, I'm I'm trying to find people, and you're the first person I feel like I recognise in this place. Um, yeah, I, I I think I hit my head. Ah. I'm not sure. Ah. Hi. Hi, Danny. <laughs> uh, Cherish, you finally put your arms down. <laughs> Right. Okay. Let me let me put everybody in the right places on the overlay because at the moment, Sean is in Tanny's seat. I was gonna say, who? who why is Sean playing my chair? <laughs> I had to quickly had to make some food because I gotta take my next medication. Nom, 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 nom. Also, hi everybody and hi stream. Hello. Hello. No. So. Everything's good. So. How does Dax respond? Where, where, are you, where are you from, Moss? I'm just trying to think of where we might have crossed. Because I am quite unusual and distinctive. I, I don't get many people saying they think they recognize me and it's somebody else. I mean... That's why I'm so sure that I know you. Mm. It, it sticks in the mind, you know, but it's cloudy and scattered. I don't know. I'm just trying to find the people I was traveling with, I think. Um, yeah, I, and I, I found a nice lady. She's she gave me this coat she's she's been nice to me but i can't go anywhere with her she's really frail and i don't really know what else to do here you haven't you haven't met like a, three unusual women mm. recently potentially looking like hags or anything like that I don't think so. I've I've been here about a week. I I know that much. I I think I don't know. I I was in a a blizzard. I think and I think I bumped my head maybe. Um, and yeah, I stumbled into Lucilla's house and she's been lovely. She's whose house? Sorry. Her name's Lucilla. She's. A really sweet little old lady that lives just down the road. I'm running errands for her at the moment. Um, what what errands are you running for her? Just picking up some shopping bits. She had something that was being fixed that, you know, it's it's really frosty outside. It's a trip hazard for her. So I said I'd go and get them because she's letting me stay in her house. Right. Well, for now, come back to the table that I have with my friends. We might be able to, to work all this out. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you she, you can see she's very, like, slightly sort of skittish and just on edge, but is intrigued all the same. Okay. Um, I'll lead you over to the, the table we are at. And who is this? This is Moss. Yeah. Uh, uh, who says she recognises me but doesn't know from where and I don't recognise her. I mean, you are the recognisable sort. Yes. Um, and she's having some problems with her memory and has been in a blizzard and is currently residing with an old kindly lady. Uh, not far from this building. Uh, but she recognised me and wanted to come over. <laughs> and... <laughs> I'll run that last one back. What? 
Baby vulture? No, clearing all sorts of <laughs> snow <laughs> off the roof. <laughs> what? What? Clearing firewood? Yeah, I, yeah, it's clearing firewood. So. No, 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 the one after that. <laughs> what, clearing snow from the roof? <laughs> Can uh, someone please catch up on what's going on here for me, please? I am... You I mean, have... I mean... <laughs> you have made your way to East Haven God via it. a circuitous route okay. which you took so that Carrion could collect some powerful magic items. A wand of the war mage and a pearl of power that AJ now has. Oh, and then removed curse? And has removed the curse from them. Nice. I say that is a good, good. Um, yeah, you know, it is a good idea, isn't it, Cherish? Stairs. You <laughs> say it's like it's like that's a, that's a good achievement that we've done it. I know that we've done it. I'm, why? Why? What's wrong with me? What? Why is everyone staring at me? I'm glad no, that no that reason. was the choice that you made because that was the choice that apparently was very important that that you make um, while you weren't here. <laughs> Uh, that well, wouldn't to be honest, to if be... we were to head back and we had the ability to remove the curse of the two um, um, things, I would have been like, yeah, let's go for it. I mean, Might as well. It was Good. hours Good. and hours out of the way when we're trying to do many important things with assassins chasing after us. That was my concern. But that's it's happened. We have these things now. As you... Yeah. Uh, in the tavern, the white, uh, the white lady inn, the inn, not the tavern. Uh, Dax has gone to get his drink refilled, and has returned with uh, Sean. You can describe your character again, but I think Tani was here for it. But I don't know; they mm. might have been busy doing something else. I was busy doing something else, but I didn't know. So, um. Half elf, a lot of green makeup, uh, quite childlike in her mannerisms. Um, so young lady, uh, she has like green streaks in her hair. She's got a big, oversized, thick coat on. Boots that don't really quite fit; they're far too chunky for her. She's got a bow with her, um, and just looks a little bit out of place. But you can't quite place why. A, a bow weapon, bow. by the way, not like a hair yes. bow or something. I will protect her with my life. Uh, uh, how how old does she look? I know you said like she's quite young and she seems childlike in some ways. Like how old is she? She'd probably be you'd assume somewhere maybe eighteen, twenty, but she acts a little bit younger than that. But also with the elf blood mixed in, that could be anywhere up to about one hundred and eighty. Yeah. It it's a real mash. It, it's real hard to tell. Could I could I um roll an insight check on uh Moss just to check that I'm not just, about just, to be... just just to make sure we're not dealing with another assassin here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and this time it's from yeah, Dax specifically. Oh, Moss. Yeah. <laughs> just Moss pulls out a book. By the way, can you sign <laughs> <laughs> Who the funk? Every episode. <laughs> Someone turns up to kill Moss, uh, mm -hmm. While this insight check is being rolled against you, uh, could you. Uh, one, make me a persuasion or a deception check, depending on what you are putting forth. Don't tell which you are choosing, just tell me the number. And also, you get a sense of familiarity from Cherish. Interesting. Um. How do I roll directly just to you? Uh, so underneath, the uh, above the chat window, you can put it to private GM Ooh. roll. That I can. That one. While this stare down is happening, uh, could I thoughtfully stroke my beard and say that wouldn't happen to be the same blizzard we were caught in when uh, we made it to East Haven for the first time, would it? That was a strange storm it was. Yeah. I remember it the fox? Do you remember the fox, though? I the fox. Uh, Moss, you can see both of those numbers. Mm. You can yes, You can I inform can. Dax what his insight gleans from you. That she is 
being truthful. Okay. There's nothing that you would query about it. Right. That's just oh, me. So she's lying through her teeth there. Yeah. <laughs> no, GM. Hello. I need to finish off the toast a bit. Um, can I do like a detect magic my eldritch sight on her? Just to see, or anything around the tavern as well, while I'm uh, in the, around the inn. You can. Let me let me try a thing for this. But before uh, that, can I quickly just BRB because I need to finish off my cup of tea? Uh, let me check mm -hmm. a thing. Uh, she's like just as a, an additional bit of flavor she has got a couple of bags with her um so you can see she is running errands there's a bit of yeah. shopping in there there's bits and pieces um, yeah but maybe lunch of parts we know yeah yeah especially that she stole off of someone earlier <laughs> yeah. shoes. so um You don't remember anything? Very little. Um, bits come back here and there. I think. I think I was with f friends. I th I okay. think. I turned again. I turned. But I I don't know. It, it's all scattered. Nothing really makes sense before oh. the blizzard. <laughs> That must be so. That's hard. That's hard. Do I have my milk? Why is his cup of milk? <laughs> um. Right. Yeah. Thank. Thank you. What's with the glowing? Cherish. You close your eyes. Yes. And when you open them, they are glowing. They are glowing from an internal light. I think we mentioned that it was going to turn golden. You oh, look around the group. And those that are highlighted tokens have magic auras around them. Mm. What kind? Uh, Sean and Richard, what magic items are your characters carrying? Uh, flaming uh. Long longsword um, and that armor that detects dragons. <laughs> well, I forgot you still have that the, armor. The, the most, so the most useful armor in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Within a hundred and twenty um, feet. Uh, I've got <laughs> I've got the one with the warm age and the helmet of telepathy. Mm. Yes, he, he says in questioning tone because he can't remember which one it is. Uh, that would be the yeah, the, the leather, leather yeah. cap you have. Yes. Yeah, the helm of telepathy. Yeah, uh, you it's also the... you also see obviously um, Brim's cauldron. Yeah, uh, lights oh, it's up. Light in as does uh, the new mask that Brim has uh, acquired. The one from Valome. Yeah, yeah. Valome's face. I can't believe he stole that. Well, he wasn't no, this is a this is a trophy. <laughs> Uh, and, well, no trophies. Trophies about yeah, I'm, I'm yes, keeping so it for safekeeping. Cool. Yeah, but the thing is, though, is that every time it puts on something, it bleeds through. It's like almost like it's acid in a way. Oh no, I cleared. I cleared that off. It's just, it's, it's clean now. Oh, okay, fair enough. It, it's just, it's just, it's just his, it's just his plain face now. Yeah, <laughs> something creepy about is that. It's just a mask. Is the face actually like shows expression, or is it just? It, it has a blank facial expression. It's, Imagine if it actually still had like facial expressions. It's God. it's not making <laughs> different facial expressions at the moment. But it, oh it my is... God! Can you imagine if it grinned at you occasionally? Like, hey! Yeah. You're it's, like, oh fuck this. It does have a face uh, on it. It's not like a flat mask. Yes, that is absolutely fair. Why? Uh, why? Why did you bring up the mask? I just didn't expect you to grab it, honestly. Well, fair enough. But yes, I have, a, um, I have a new module that lets me do new detection modes. Ooh. And one of the detection Ooh. modes is uh, detect magic. Another one I can now do is detect thoughts if Sean ever uses the helm of telepathy. He will. Yeah. Occasionally. Yeah. At times. Um, so, 
Ch did Moss have any magic stuff going on? No. Um, I'm surprised I've not lightened up. You don't actually have any magical equipment. You have, have magic. Oh yeah, you do have the netherlight. Yeah. Why is that not oh, showing up like magic? Me. Wasn't that because Cherish is casting it herself? It, it could be that you aren't detecting magic on yourself. You know no. what you have. Uh, you know what's. It could you know be the that scanners can't scan themselves. It it could be that I've not set the netherlight up as a magic item. No, it is set up as a magic item. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. It it doesn't detect you. Yeah, we'll go with that. Got a, a lead case for it. Mm. Uh, could. No, so, beyond, like, beyond any sort of stand, like, yeah, there is nothing beyond standard elf personage. Could I call, like, a barmaid over or some manner of, of staff person? Uh, yes. Uh, I have a name for these people. Let me find the name for them. Uh, Ronaldo at the moment is busy plucking an instrument. Uh, but an elderly human uh, elderly human proprietor of, of the establishment uh, will approach hello <laughs> yes excuse me um, do you know uh, Lucilla who lives nearby yes uh Delightful old lady. Now, has she lived here for a while? Yes, a, a few years now. Mm. All, all my, all my life since I was a young boy. <laughs> <laughs> She's been old all this time. Never aged a day. Aged days. Keeps having to get parts for her baby mulcher. It's weird. <laughs> 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 And, um, she seemed nice person, didn't she? Uh, nice enough. Uh, I heard word that she'd taken in a, a youngster recently, running some, running some errands for her and such. That's oh, up. With the tongue. <laughs> oh! Is that you? That seems very charitable of her, though. Like, uh... Yeah, that, that's me. Nice to meet you. I've popped in a few times, like, very briefly, but I don't think we've ever actually met. I'd heard that you'd, uh, you'd moved in, well, been taken in because of the storm. Yeah. Uh, no, we haven't actually uh, been introduced. Well, it is a pleasure to meet you. I think you can go away now, so... Can I get some more milk? Can I get some more milk? Give me more milk! I will fetch you another glass. Thank you! He, he goes away and comes back a few minutes later with a glass of milk. So, um, so Cherish will turn to Marseille and think, so, you do you not remember anything at all? Barely. Um, before the blizzard, anyway. It's flashes of pictures here and there. I think I bumped my head in the, in the blizzard, I, I think. What kind of pictures? What kind of pictures do you see? What kind of pictures? Um, like, fabrics and, and, and ropes, I, I think, and friends, laughing with friends. In a, in a, somewhere, just, you know, that, that feeling where you're comfortable around the people you're with, like, they're not family, but nearly, hmm. that feel, hmm. it's, it's the feeling I remember more like, than. Like an adventuring party, perhaps. I mean, Such as um, we are. I mean, I, I'm wearing, and she'll just open her coat slightly, and underneath there's like sparkly kind of fabric. It's green, mottled, 
kind of gives you the sense of like almost leaning towards like gymnastics sort of style. Ooh. Um Acrobat. I I think I was performing. I I, th I think from AJ, AJ the sort outfit. of looks over and nods. And... That looks like a performing outfit. This is AJ's voice and always has been, trust me. <laughs> of course. It's fine. It's fine. He's got a cold. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I have a cold. Oh, AJ, you oh, AJ, you finally put your arms down. I'm I'm not much of a I'm not much of a singer, but I'm me really neither. flexible, so I think probably gymnastics maybe. Can, can you I, do I, that I don't thing? Know. Can you, do, can you do that thing where you like lean all the way back and like put your head between like between your ankles and like like it's really and it's really weird looking? Carrion. Yeah. I <laughs> right. I I haven't thought to try. Can I whisper oh. to Carrion and just say like she feels nervous and a bit afraid? Just and so tone down your usual self. Not everyone likes. To be assaulted with questions. Says you and everyone else interrogating her. Yeah, well, we're asking her important things. <laughs> trying to find out who she is. And I'm trying to make her at ease by not having an interrogation. Dax, just leave Carrie alone. It, it, it's okay. I, I'm happy with questions. I just don't have many answers, I'm sorry. No, that's that's understandable, especially the fact that you might have bumped your head. Or something. What possessions did you have when you came to? You've got a bow, is that...? Is that bow from... was from Lucilla, it was her husband's. Um, I had this quiver, and she'll show it to you. It's quite ornate and fancy and colourful so it gives you that same like performance vibe hmm. I had um, my outfit I had this pouch which has got chalk in it and I didn't have shoes on someone tells me that you weren't really supposed to be in the snowy area here snowy. No, but, mm -mm. but then how did you get there? I, I don't know. This, this place is, from what I understand, not, not the nicest of places. So maybe someone stole some of my things. But then they didn't take my quiver, so I I don't know. Oh, oh, I, ha I have a friend too. And out of her, out of another pouch that she's got, she produces a tiny little mouse. This oh. is Mo. Oh. <laughs> That's so adorable. He's um, yeah, Mo Mount Mountain Mo Mo. Um, yeah, he's my friend. Mo. The the small this is, mouse. This is right. This is right. Damon scratches its nose. It brings Rat Damon up close to Mo. Rat Damon? <laughs> so, not Rat Damon, Rat Berry. Too many rats. Too many rats. rats, not enough time. All of the rats. Bowie! Bowie! <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you and shakes his paw. Uh, Very sweet. Mo, Mo, how, long have you, how long have you had Mo? I Mo um, Mo no. Did you have him when you woke up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, he was with me. He was hiding in my in uh, this pouch. Can I cast speak with animals? And then you know speak with Mo. Are you asking me or the group? Oh, you, I suppose, because <laughs> I will say I'll, I'll. This is what I'll do, and I will explain to Mo that this is what I'm going to do. That. Um, that you know, I I I, I can I sort of I can talk to animals. Um, oh, and we might be able to learn something. Yeah, if you if you want to, they don't have quite the they same. Don't have quite the same. 
understanding of the world, but... Yeah, yeah. And hold, holds him out in front of you. As like you, in both hands. As you look down at Mo, Mo looks like a... Was it a dormouse, Sean? Um... I know you said that technically it was a, it was a, a mouse. climbing mouse. I will. I'm just trying to find the picture. I've I've got the picture. Let me pin it. You're welcome to chuck it in. Copy image. I don't know whether you can show stream. No, but Discord couldn't. Uh, People can go to our Discord is, and see it. This is Mo in the Elf Song Tower. Aww. Slightly green tinted. You kind of get the sense that. He's probably been through her makeup because she's got a lot of green on as well. Um, but hard to tell. <clears throat> the tail mm -hmm. does also appear to end in like a <coughs> sprig of a plant. But it could just be fur. It's <coughs> a weird mm -hmm. illusion. Mm -hmm. Um, so am I able to, if I cast a spell, talk to Mo? You would be able to talk to Mo, yes. Do you not, cast not a spell? Only Mo. Not, not, not only Mo is the thing. <laughs> Do I say yes? Right. Quick question, though. Does Cherish and the others know the reason why Jax brought Moss over? As in, like, oh, he some, she, she somehow know him a bit. Yes. Okay. She just sort of came over to Dax when he was at the bar and said, like, I think I recognize you, or, you know, you seem familiar. And especially because Dax doesn't look like anybody else. Um, that's a bit, you know, that caught his attention a bit, and now we're trying to work out. You cast Speak With Animals. And as you do, you catch the tail end of a conversation uh, that Mo and Ratberry were having that just ends with you'll never guess where I was I found new Fred it's called Bowie <laughs> and Mo is just listening He's my little, he was my little soldier he was wonderful oh he was running in saying Barry it was wonderful stuff <laughs> <laughs> Rat Barry could you please excuse us I need to have an important conversation we were having an important conversation, but I'll forgive your your very rude intrusion. New York City. I don't know what this is. Uh, Mo, if that is your name, that's the name uh, Moss gave us. I am Mo. Now, Mo, um, my name's Dax. Um, my I'm trying name's to help. Mo. Yes, nice to meet you, Mo. This, is... <laughs> this one's Ratberry, and uh, it, this, this is Mo. This is Moss. Uh, Moss is my big, big friend, mm -hmm. and also provides a house, and safety, yeah. and warmth. Yes, and food. I like food. Yeah. So naturally, you'd like to help Moss. I would, but yeah. I can't let Moss ride around and. Me, that does, I'm not no, that big. No, but you, you might have other information. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Now, I believe it was about a week ago, Moss came to in the snow with you. It was cold. Yes. Now, do, do you know how, how that how she came to be there? No, we were in the snow. Where were you before you were in the snow? I don't remember. We were it's somewhere where it wasn't in the snow. But I don't know where it was. I think I may have... It was dark. I was probably in a pocket. Okay. Um, do you remember any other people aside from, from Moss? I mean... There probably were other people. I mean, we've known other people... But I don't remember anyone. It's weird. I just remember waking up in the... Hmm. in the snow. 
before yes, that I uh, remember climbing and swinging at some point, but I don't remember why or where. Um, do you feel, it's not even an odd question, do you feel comfortable being a mouse? Does that, does that feel normal and... I don't remember being anything other than a mouse. Mm. I think I am a mouse. Yeah. Do you you don't recognize me or and I'll point to Cherish because I believe that was your person who was brought up as being I don't think um Moss mentioned that. Ah, okay. Yeah, from... Moss hasn't actually mentioned it yet. Do you do you recognize me? There is something familiar about you. It's No. Oh, sorry. Go on, Moss. This smell maybe he does stink you have who's that <laughs> <laughs> ratberry would stare you dead in the eye <laughs> <laughs> um i see um now this might be a difficult question for you to answer mo but um, Moss has problems with her memory. She can't remember things more than, more than a few days ago. Do you think you're in a similar state? I can remember about it. <laughs> I can remember about one week where we've been here and it's been cold. I see. So yes, I, yeah. I suppose yes. Hmm. Well, um... Unless there's anything else you think you can think of to tell me about your past or Moss's past or, you know. I would like some cheese. I'm sure we can make I've got some cheese in my bag. Do you want to go in my bag? <laughs> can I come out of the bag and go back into the pocket afterwards? Oh, of course. I'm not going to keep you in my, no, my, my bag. My bag. I'm just you know, pop it in for a visit. I'm going to go visit Matt. Rap, rap. Berry's bag, and we're gonna have cheese for dinner, and then I'm gonna go home. Um, okay, come on. I'm gonna like, to, I'm to, to like um, uh, John. I'm like to see if I can try and like, like set um, Moss aside and have a chat with her as well. Okay, as uh, Mo leaps from Moss's hand and scuffles yeah. into uh. Ratberry's bag, which is also, you know, Carrion's bag. Um, I shall put my this this entire you, conversation you, that you hear, has... you, you, you hear heavy bass music. Some flashing lights as well. The, the entire conversation that Dax has just been having has been really weird because Dax really just sort of weird. leant forward and the two rodents looked up at him and the three of them just started conversing in a series of squeaks. <laughs> Moss has just been sat perfectly silent, just watching in awe at like you appear to be making some sort of mouse sense and this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, of, I'll um, I'll take Moss to the side and I'll try and have a chat with her. Does everybody else allow this to happen? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I do... oh, we tackle them to the floor, Joe. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, knives no, out in, style. Be, I think it'd be nice. If it was just a um, a woman talking like a woman to woman kind of thing, a girl to girl kind of talk, just in case. Cause sure. Uh, that make it a bit easier. Doesn't matter to me, no. Uh, I will say, I do turn to Carrie and say, hey, Carrie, could you do me a favor? Can you see if this is, uh, holding up the faceplate uh, mask, can you see if this is magical for me? Uh, I can try. Um, where's my character sheet? <laughs> it's, it's a dope magical, though, out character, John. There is a magical aura to it, yes. Would Cherish quickly overhear that or already gone away? You'd be turning away at the time. Depends on how quickly you're like, are you sprinting away with Moss, or are you just like, 
Just picking her up and running <laughs> off. <laughs> Mine now. Mine. I I will assume that you can have heard that question. I I'll just quickly like um, Jared will just quickly like perk up and say that is magical. Um, yeah, that that mask is magical, and then oh. walks away with us. What do you know what it does? Already walks away. I mean, I can. I, mean, I, can, <laughs> I, I can. I can try to identify it. I I would appreciate it. Yes, please. So that just like puts his. Puts his, puts, his, puts his hands on it and and once again the eyes glow and I cast identify to see if there's anything I can say about it uh, the mask is magical magical um, there are potentially uh you get the sense that there are potentially other things that it could do. Could do. Um, you you don't get the full sense of its power. That, that maybe there's some things that could awaken within it, if it is used enough. For the moment, it would allow the wearer to cast disguise self on themselves once per uh, long rest. Hmm. Like looks noticeably confused. As a, it, at the moment, it can, it, you can disguise yourself with it magically, but there's more to it. I can't, I can't, I can't see it fully. Hmm. It's weird. Ah, it's weird. I feel it's like if you use it, the more you use it, the the more it can, the more powerful it gets, maybe. But yeah, hmm. it's weird. Sips milk. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side of the tavern, heavy bass music starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Let's sit here. I'm done. So, you said that you somehow recognize Dax somewhere. Or seem to know him. I, I think I recognize him. He seems familiar. Which is unusual because he looks really unusual. But I feel like I know him, maybe. Is that the same for anyone else that you recently saw? Like our team at all? Or is it just him? I've, I've not seen anyone else that that makes sense in, in my memories. Um, but I feel like... I feel like maybe... Maybe people similar to you that I recognise too, like just you know, in, in your way of being and the glowing a little bit, maybe. Oh. Uh, it's it's all so vague. I'm I'm really sorry. No, it's fine. It's just we just want to make sure that your memory's back and just want to understand what is going on here, because like. This is a bit of a dilemma, so I just want to get you guys, get you out of the way with from your from your men because uh, <laughs> they can be a little bit pushy, especially Tax, um, despite him being trying to be mean, trying to mean well here. Um, They're really interesting though, yeah, and and the other rat rat fairy is really cute. He is very cute. <sighs> so you've only ended up here, and the only memories you've got is ropes and fabric okay. and um i mean I, I guess and kind of gestures back to herself again performing maybe you definitely um, sound like you were with like some sort of performing group that was traveling yeah maybe 
But sound the way how it sounds like is that you somehow ended up in the snow without yeah. any kind of warm clothing. Yeah, I I only bumped into Lucilla because I was trying doors because I needed to get out cold. Hmm. Um, and I I I picked a good door, I think. She's she's lovely, but she doesn't have many memories. It, but it she's really make... cute. It does make my mind ease that you were saved with someone that brought you in. Uh, this place is not nice. Um. <laughs> it's just really short. <laughs> yeah. It's it's been it's been okay so far, but I'm I'm quick, so I think that helps. Well. How can you, remind, can you remind me of how long you've been here for now? Since I, you've waken up, woken it, up. It's been a week since the blizzard. A week. But I don't know when I actually got here. Like, mm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe people were traveling through, and I traveled with them. But Lucilla said the blizzard and the, the snow has been two or three weeks, I think. Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah, it's been picking up pretty badly lately. Um, so maybe I've been here a bit longer and my people came through before before the snow came? I I don't know. Um I'm I'm trying to make sense with the pieces. Yes. We wanna help you, so that way we know for a fact that you'll be alright and everything. I I can't have been here long because the, you know, I I don't know. Gestures back over to tavern guy that I can't remember the name of. Um. Like, we we don't know each other, and you would think if I had been here for a long time. But maybe. Maybe if the snow only started like two weeks ago, then. Cherish, make me an intelligence check. Because my next question is maybe we should go over to Lucille and see if she might know anything. Investigation check, you say? Intelligence. Just intelligence. straight intelligence. Straight intelligence. Not that gay intelligence. I was spending too much time around Sean because I thought exactly uh, the same thing. <laughs> gay intelligence! Oh dear. Oh god, the stream just died. Did. Well, you did. Oh, no. Tiny was you too did, intelligent you for the stream. So you did. You broke, you broke the stream with your gay intelligence. Okay, the stream should be back now. Apparently it didn't stop recording, just streaming. That's interesting. Yeah, it's back. Interesting. Um, cherish. Yeah. Moss has said something now twice. Um, yeah. And the first time it stuck in your mind. The second time you realise what's... What, what was playing at your mind about it. She claims the snow's been here for two weeks. Or at least that's what Lucilla has told her. Hmm. The snow's been here for two years. Right. I will say to um, Moss, you saying that she's saying it's here for two weeks, right? It's been here for a while. It's been going on for two years. Moss looks genuinely shocked. There is a... I'm still trying to understand it myself. There is a thing going on at the moment where it's known as a never-ending win winter. Everlasting winter? Uh, the two of the guys over there who are more local here will understand it better than me, but it's been going on for ages. Oh. And, and... basically... The ten towns have been trying to 
grown accustomed to it and there are certain things in this town in certain towns that they tend to sacrifice in order to keep warm or prevent a certain thing from making it worse for them but but i suppose that it, it explains something and she's kind of now just looking around the room like sort of questioning and like really clocking into the fact that people are really like layered up in coats and like actually look comfortable as as comfortable as you can in the snow but like it's not a shock to them as it might be if it was two weeks yeah you can see like sheriff's like full-fledged like proper head to toe wrapped up but she's not very comfortable she's not used to it because um because of her she's been mostly been in a warm environment this is a new this is still new to her herself so she's like not very comfortable and she's like i don't like this but i can't need to move more about but yeah um that's that's a lot longer i just don't understand why she said two weeks to you she's very confused lovely but I wonder if we really can really confused. I think she's just really old. Maybe. But, she uh... occasionally calls me different names. Like, Wait. maybe, uh, maybe like a, a daughter, perhaps, I think. She points to pictures occasionally. It's, she's very confused. Okay. But lovely. What names did she call you besides your original name? Um, her, uh, Lauren, I think, um, yeah, generally, and, and she said that her family's coming back, um, but they haven't been around for a while. I don't know, she's... Like I say, I think she's just very old. People that I've met that do know her, like her neighbours, try and keep an eye out for her too. I think they know that she's frail and and quite oh. old. Right, okay. Um, so I, d I don't think it's her fault. But, yeah. I don't know. Okay then. I just... I need to try and find my people um and i don't think i'm gonna be able to do that if i stay here <laughs> and yeah. yeah here doesn't seem right i don't i don't fit here well the best way is is probably explore to see what we can get more of your memory to be unlocked But we're on a tight. We're trying to get everything done where we are as well. Are you? Are you traveling places though? We are. Yes. Um. I don't. Could I? Could I tag along? Maybe. Oh, I wouldn't. I would say I, why not. I I travel quick and 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 fast. I. I can look after myself. I don't see why not. Are you gonna be okay not leaving the the old lady though? I'll I'll I need to take these things back to her and I can tell her neighbours that I'm going so they know to keep an eye on her and, and make sure she's okay. Well okay then. I that makes a lot of sense. I guess you need to maybe ask the others as as well. I don't I don't want to intrude if it's going to be a problem. Um it shouldn't be a problem. I think more the merrier we normally say in these areas. Okay, let's let's go back <clears throat> and see what the guys will say about this. But yeah, that it's strange that she said about like oh it's been two weeks of blizzard yet it's been going on for two years i mean i can take you to meet her if you like yeah maybe we can get some more answers and see how she found you and such 
and what we had it, we can ask around if there's been any some sort of carnival y entertaining areas that's been travelling through. So Yeah, okay. Let's head back then. So mm -hmm. me and your cherish and Moss will head back. You get back to the group table with uh, Dax, Carrion, and uh, Brim. Um, Cherish will mention to Dax and Brim. So, what Moss has just told me that the old woman that found her said the blizzard started two weeks ago when you both mentioned to me that this has been happening for two years. I quite a bit longer than two weeks. I we're thinking about um me and Moss are thinking about heading towards um the old woman's place and she wants to come with us. Um Moss wants to come with us on our journey. I was wondering if that would be okay with you guys. If that's okay, I I feel it, like I need to meet more people to find people. It could be a good way to unlock more of a memory, see what she remembers. We aren't exactly going to a place that's populated. Is that okay? Um... We'll be travelling, sure. But our goal kind of ends more north. In the immediacy. I've... I've not managed to... Nothing here has drugged my memory. I've really tried. So maybe anywhere would be better. But all... all I'm, I'm happy for you to join us, but so you know, well, what we do is very dangerous. We were only recently attacked by assassins. Um... So just so you understand what you're signing up for, there could be some risk. And you take care of yourself. And if anything, we'll we'll have to get you out of that outfit you have and go for something more protective, better armor, proper, well, winter gear. Definitely. Especially, I'll be more fitted on you, besides and, the coat. And boots that fit, preferably. I'm I'm quick and I have a bow, so I don't need to get close to things. I can stay away. Yeah, leave the up close fighting to. I guess a, a sort of look at me and cherish. Yeah, leave the leave the close up fight to me and Brim. But at the same time, we still have to give you some more warmer clothes, especially when we're going to be dealing with very very colder climates. Last thing you want to have is a frostbite. I think I, I think this coat and maybe gloves were Lucilla's husband. He's passed, sadly. Um, but she was happy to give them to me. But yeah, maybe some more layers would be would be good if we're going like out, out. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. But yeah, if you want to come and meet her, she's lovely. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Do we? I mean, do we all want to pile in though? Because um, she's she's very welcoming, and I did start making food that I was doing a big batch. So if if you want to come, maybe me and Dax will go. Because um, Dax, if you since you've been here longer and more local to the ten towns, maybe you might pick up something from her. Yeah, I think that's. Because, like I said, like she's mentioned that um, the bliss has been around for two weeks. Yeah, it's been two years, and then she's mentioned about her family being out but not coming back. Yeah, it, it's it's certainly worth uh, talking to her. You could probably pick up something. Mm. Um, Sorry, Carrion, what are you doing with prestidigitation? He is just he, he, while they're having this conversation, he's just kind of. Making patterns and stuff on the table. Okay. Aww. Oh, that's pretty. That's really cool. Thanks. Um, Moss, what was it you were getting 
for Lucilla? Could we just see these items, especially since something was getting repaired? Um, yeah, so she'll put the, the bags on the table. See, I've got some chopping bits and I've got, see this jacket, this had a hole in it. So I've just picked that up. It's been fixed. And um, yeah, that's just just little bits. Anything, at the end, does anything stand out as unusual or? No, all seems fairly average. Shopping items or uh, repaired jacket. The coat is just your standard old. Has clearly been around for a lot of years. What, where, just... where, where is the hole in the coat? Like I think I'm probably you know, trying to like, was someone shot with an arrow who was wearing? It? <laughs> no, oh, it's just no. like worn out elbows. Oh, okay, just general wear and tear. Nothing. Yeah. It's probably by this point got about eight or nine different patches on it where pockets have been sewn back together and all of that kind of. It, but it's just old. At at some point there was another coat, but uh, it it's now mostly patch. Well, yeah, we'll uh, we'll head over and have a word with her and explain the situation. Okay. I assume Mo has returned from bag party. <laughs> as as you, you, as you return over, up. Mo does pop out of the bag and leaps back onto the table, which has got patterns shining over its surface now. Oh. I'm like swirling, but then there's like a few... Like If you look close enough, there's like some thing like some skulls and other like things in there like screaming faces and stuff it's... probably no one thinks that frog is a tab yeah 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 so if we'll, we'll head off then is, is that okay yeah let's go bye then Yep, and uh, collect our things and head over, yeah? It's not very far, particularly. Um, it's kind of down a little bit of a side street, a little bit out of the way. Um, it's a really old house. Um, it's been patched up to keep the cold out, but you can tell it's been a bit of like a hodgepodge of random roof tiles that have been put back in um it's yeah the the front door's a little bit battered but it's okay um and moss will wander straight in and invite you in Can lucilla I... i'm back Could I pause oh, hello just... lauren dear could I pause at the doorway just to have a look at the house and notice if there's anything unusual or weird or creepy or yeah, uh, baby on top, baby mold just sticking out the back. Yeah, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Roll me a perception check. And you can as well if you wish to cherish. I will. Beautiful. You both take in the house, and it's exactly as described. It looks like a small cottage uh, that matches the architecture of the local area. Uh, it looks like it's been here the same amount of time, if not longer, than the surrounding buildings. Um, it looks like it's been lived in for quite a number of years and, and been cared for and replaced. Um, it's of a size that is slightly too big for a single person to be living in, uh, suggesting that it wasn't purchased with that intention. Mm. Um, but is not a 
it's not a huge house, so it's it's uh, it's kind of one decent sized bedroom, one small bedroom, like yeah, it, it's not out of the ordinary that one person could live here, uh, but it's also yeah big enough that big enough for... other people could comfortably live in it. Uh, without impacting the, the each other's lives, if that all makes sense. Kind of small, maybe small family home. Maybe like you've just downsized because the kids have moved out, but you've got a yeah, small extra bedroom yeah, yeah. in case that, they come and visit. That sort of place. Yep, I feel that. Oh. I'll, I'll head in if if we're being invited in. Yeah, yeah, come in. Oh dear, Lauren, welcome. You. You've bought friends home. I did. I've got your shopping too, and and the repair that you asked me to do. I did. Uh, uh, yes. The wave. Smile. You, you remember the jacket? This this one. Oh, the jacket. Yes, I've been meaning to go and pick that up. Oh, when will I get the time? It's it's back now and it's fixed. See. Oh uh, uh, yes. Oh, thank you, dear. So, so this is th these are my new friends. This is this is Dax and this is Cherish. Um, I I think I recognise Dax. Do you remember? I said that I was I've been struggling with my memory because I think I hit my head. Yes. And. Yeah. I'm thinking that I maybe need to go and try some other places to see if that brings my memory back. So I might have to go if if that's okay. Only for a while. Would you like some tea? No, thank you. And a biscuit? <laughs> no, thank you. They're definitely not poison. <laughs> Moss will go and grab tea and a biscuit and just start chomping down. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I would like to have some, please. <clears throat> I'll make we'll you pass some. Over. She starts to push herself out of the chair. No, 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 no. It's okay. I'll, I'll make it. But don't worry. It's, it's okay. It's, it's no bother. I can do it. It's, it's fine. You don't know where the poison is. It's <laughs> <laughs> in which case I will help her up and. She's very unsteady on her feet. Like clearly is is really quite frail. Shouldn't be going outside in the snow because liable to fall over. Um, and yeah, she. Um, she knows where the things are in her kitchen, so she can function all right in it. She can go straight to a cupboard, find what she needs. Um, and, and she but at goes some through point, and, and puts together the tea and the biscuits. At some point she will turn back around and just exclaim because she doesn't remember that you'd come in. Oh, hello. I'm 92. Hi, Lucilla. We're, we're back. I, I bought the shopping. You were making us tea. These oh, are friends. Yes. Hello. Yes. Hello. See, she's yes. really struggling, kind the of under her breath. She's not doing great. Could I do an insight check on this kind of old brother's woman? coming soon? <laughs> I'm <you> ninety-two. <laughs> Did you hear Lauren Brothers coming soon? Your uncle. And well, what's his name? Darren. Yes, Jeb, could I roll an insight check on this old woman? Just yes. To... He's 92, you know. Empty you you read that she is a very old woman who's lived a long 
life and it has taken a toll on her physically and mentally. You sense no uh, threat or uh, not nothing that she is attempting to misguide you. Mm. Uh, she does appear to be either confused about current events or her uh, her long life has uh, taken such a toll that she is now reliving some of the happier ones. Essentially, Dementia's taken a fairly solid hold. <laughs> It was, it was it was very nice of you to take in Moss. Uh, yes, Moss is such a nice girl. She went to get the shopping. How did you find Moss? She was hammering on the door and it took me such a long time to get to the door. She didn't have any shoes. Oh. Oh, okay. I I did hammer on the door for a while, yeah. but then I did let myself in. Um I couldn't stand in the snow anymore. I needed warmth. I, I was I almost bad, to though. the door. And you you leave your door. Literally hand on the doorknob and she barged in. <laughs> Knocked me flying, she did. <laughs> you well, leave your door unlocked? It's a nice town. You don't need to lock your doors. Oh, that's nice. I'm 92, don't you know? Um, no, oh, still... hello. Oh. So, yes. Um, Moss mentioned that it had been two weeks of snow since she, when she'd arrived. Is that right? It's been a dreadful cold snap. Hmm. Again, do I just get the impression that this is what you genuinely... Yeah, she, she genuinely probably doesn't go outside often enough to have noticed that it's it's been two years of bad weather. Uh, she... Partially the confusion and partially the the same as COVID, where time just breaks. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Um. Yes, it seems like um, Moss would like to to come with us for a while to try and find her friends or recover her memories. She says you're her new friends. We are. Yes. Oh, hello. And she turns to Cherish. Hello. I'm Cherish. I'm Lucilla. I'm 92. Wow. I'm going to have to pop next door and just make sure her neighbours can keep an eye on her. Dave. I think they've got used to me being here for the week. You they've tell them. In. You tell their son to keep it down when he plays with his ball outside. Yes. Yes, yes, I will. And kind of gives them the look of like now questioning whether she's never seen him play with a ball outside. She's. Mm. Nothing of that makes sense, but it's kind He's of just nodded like along. Has lived in a, lives in another town, and the, the son is now in his twenties. Yes. Um. Yeah. So I'm 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 gonna pop next door, quickly. and we'll dart out of the door. Um, and you can just hear her knock next door and have a very quick conversation about that she's going away and. They're happy to step back in um, and keep an eye and yeah, 
wish her well basically but they don't really know her they were a little bit skeptical of her to begin mm. with but she seemed but they thought moss seemed nice and was looking after lucilla so they were like okay sure <laughs> as as moss is gone lucilla thrusts another biscuit towards cherish you're all skin and bones dear take another go oh. ahead treat yourself <clears throat> it's it's fine i insist well, thank you, but I'm not hungry. Okay. I'll hold on to it, though. She pulls yes. out the candy jar full of 40-year-old candies. <laughs> she pulls well, out the Werther's all, Originals. The Werther's Originals. <laughs> yeah. uh, I love Werther's Originals, everybody. They they exist in every multiverse. Yep. But they are the original. Um, Moss will pop her head back around the door um i've got a few things to grab um a, a rucksack and things but then 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 we can go i think um it's all set they're gonna look after her that's good i'm glad it's someone uh looking out, for looking out for her goodbye lauren dear darren's coming soon He'll keep me company. He will. He will, I'm sure. He'll be back. Um, I've put all of the things in the cupboards for you where you know they are. And um, make sure you... Make sure you're drinking and eating enough, okay? <coughs> and you need to keep the fire stoked, remember? Yes, dear. It's dreadfully cold. It is. It is. Um, and... Yeah, well, the rucksack is just as old and holy as the jacket um, was that was being repaired. Um, she's stuffed a few bits and pieces in that you can see, like a hammock, um, some rations, bits of food that she's pulled together. Um, Several biscuits. A couple of, couple of jumpers, yeah, a bunch of biscuits. Um, it's really quite haphazard. Um and she does the like the pocket check thing of like bow quiver you notice that she puts her hand on her necklace that like it kind of subconsciously checks the coat rucksack on okay i think i'm good <laughs> lucilla goes and sits back in her chair i think um moss is out before we go we'll get you some better um clothing to wear and search for the winter about how bad it is out there definitely some new shoes i've i've got a little bit of money but not much i've got some too i will help you out um yeah lucilla it was it was lovely meeting you and i i wish you all the best it was nice seeing you lauren It's been so long. Oh, it's, it's fine. I'll just die alone. I'll I'll be back as soon as I can. And with that, we'll usher the other two out and close the door. Goodbye, dearie. Goodbye. Do you? Rips it off mission I mean? impossible style. She's so confused. But... Oh, just as we walk out the door, um could I as surreptitiously as possible just remove a fingernail and uh then drop it on the floor somewhere? Yeah. And then when we have a moment later on, I wanna, you know. Uh, use my power and spy on <laughs> spy on this old woman for a bit. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Like he's he's been brought up with people who pretend to be old like little harmless old ladies to <laughs> kill and trap people. <laughs> like <laughs> little old ladies are like to Dax like the most dangerous of creatures. Yes, sir. 
I'm 92, you know. 92. 92. She's probably older, but that's just where her memory <laughs> stops at for that particular one. You stop counting after a while. She wouldn't remember to count. But yes. Uh, she's lovely though, isn't she? She's mm. really sweet. She's so do we nice. head back to the tavern to the others, maybe? Yeah, let's um, mm. let's all meet up again. again. Once we get sat back down, can I do my weird remote viewing business? Okay. It takes oh, yeah. you maybe five, ten minutes to get back to the tavern. I give cookies to, um, I give the biscuits to Karen. Karen just looks at them out the corner of his eye and then just continues doing what he's doing on the table. Well, for you, I, um, we got them from the, the old lady. They're really nice. I thought you might have some. Hmm. You're all skin and bones, all four of you. She's, a, she's appeared out of nowhere. Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. Um, you look back through the fingernail on the floor and you see a large, well appointed living room. The same large, well appointed living room that you've just been to. Uh, a fire burns in the fireplace. Lucilla sits in the big, overly stuffed chair in one corner of the room, and it becomes very obvious looking through into this space now that the entire room has been set out in more recent years to focus around this one chair. Uh, there is other furnishing in the room, but this chair is sort of pride of place in the room and everything else either points to it or is surrounding it in such a way that it's the, this, this chair and its occupant are the focal point of the room. Um, mm -hmm. It's also the most well-stuffed chair in the living room and has a number of uh, soft, lacy cushions uh, propping up the occupant who you see sitting there slowly drinking uh, now half a cup of rapidly cooling tea as she warms her feet by the fire. She seems harmless enough. She seems a perfectly ordinary 90-something year old human old person mm -hmm. well that's good but you know also a little disappointing <laughs> just um, as she just as you stop viewing she pulls out a live chicken and bites its head off <laughs> <laughs> oh dear the blood sacrifice must be prepared for this does not How else occur. am I supposed to get to 93? <laughs> um, as, as we're all like chilling on the table and everything, um, can I just see, um, Carrion, like, as in, what is, how is Carrion looking at the moment, Sean? He's looking. No, he's, he's looking. He's looking. He's looking. He is sure he exists. Is he um, showing any kind of emotion at all? He's just kind of blank. Okay. Um, because Cher's just gonna like, like scoot against, scoot up next to Carrion, because I was assuming she was sitting next to Carrion, and just puts her hand on his shoulders, like, like just kind of like. Reassure Rob and say like, hey, Carrion. Hmm? Don't, don't let Dax bother you like that. I'm sorry if he's putting you down at all. 
And I'm like doing it quiz quite quietly so that Dax can't hear me. He's probably like not listening to anything. Well, if you time it right, he's completely deaf because. Uh... Yeah, I, I would say I do it completely. <laughs> he's like in this deaf mode, so like, yeah. You, you can see Dax's eyes have glazed over. <clears throat> he's looking somewhere else. Just suddenly, he's muttering, "There's so much blood, so much blood!" <laughs> oh my God, the chicken! Why are there so many of them? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Oh, he, he, he doesn't really react. He's just. Are you gonna be okay? I'm, I'm gonna get more milk and gets up and goes to the bar to get to get more milk. <laughs> Cherish does a sigh. You get more milk. He sits at the bar like a drunkard. But with milk. <laughs> a chunk of milk. Milk comes out of your nose. So, just, just, just a couple of a couple of cups of milk later. So no, I think I, the, the, the bomb, No, I think I have to cut you off. I'll tell you when I have enough milk. <laughs> <laughs> Kerry, what is uh, Brim up to at the moment? I think. Um, honestly, probably just like looking at the mask, uh, between that and like, uh, honestly, probably, uh, between that and like after that sort of taking my attention for a bit, uh, probably looking back at the book, uh, okay. es especially if they are, if they're taking such a long time with, uh, Lucilla. Now that we're back and Carrion's at the bar, Moss is going to go up to him and tap him on the shoulder. Hmm? You, um, seemed, hi. Hi. you seemed to maybe know about circus things. Um, like, is, is this a circus thing? And she will just drop straight down into the splits like she did it for an, her entire life, like no, no struggle at all, and hop back up again. Like, is, is that the kind of is is that is is that? Right. I mean, I I was I was talking more about the whole you know when like someone like they like you like you lay down with your like front half, of, um like lay on like your on your chest and then you kind of like bend back and you so your legs and so then you end up with your feet on the floor next to you like near your head, but. But that's good too. I like this. The splits were cool. But obviously, the, the the thing I'm describing is probably far more complicated, and and probably not everyone can do that. So it's not. It's not. No. 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 No bad thing if you can't do that. But you know, I'm just saying. It's like you know the con contortion. I I don't think I can try that one in here. But takes her rucksack off and t takes her um. Takes her coat off for a second and just drops backwards into a like crab, so hands and feet on the floor, and then will flick herself back up and be like, "Like that? That's not quite it, though, is it? I, maybe." No, no, no. But it's, it's still, still really, that's still cool. Uh, that's that, that's that's really that's really cool. Uh, um, I mean, that would be really cool if like if you like like crawled after people, that would really like scare them. It'd be really mm. funny. Yeah, oh, that could be good. <laughs> that, that could be good. Mm. Especially if you could like do it like when you were upstairs and they were downstairs and you like you crawl downstairs after them and they'll be like it would be terrifying. Yeah, yeah, that that does sound. Mm. Oh, I'll have to try at some point, maybe. I mean, obviously, be careful because obviously going down the stairs like that would be really yeah be, um, dangerous. Really, yeah, I wouldn't want, want you being hurt or anything. So yeah. I'll. Um, I'll have to try what you said at some point. See. I mean, yeah, but see, that, 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 I was just, I was just curious. I'm sorry if I was being, I'm sorry if I was asking dumb questions. I, I, I know everyone thinks I ask dumb questions. No, time. no, it's cool. It, I. If if you know like things like that, then that could be useful, you know. No, it, it, could it be. makes 
makes sense that maybe I did it regularly because I can just do it now. I don't think that's something everyone can do. Is it something everyone can do? What, the, the split thing or the, or the crab thing? I, I or the thing I was talking about? Um, all, all of them. Um, I mean... I mean, the thing I was talking about, I, I only ever saw it once when, when, my, when me and my mother went to hunt a fair um, and what, uh, there was a contortionist there and we saw that and I, I just remember that and I was thinking, I, I thought that to, when you said about how you were flexible and I thought, oh, wow, that would be, that would be amazing. If, but, um, but, but splits, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm not, I, this is like the first time I've really been like out in the world, so oh. I don't know if it's a common thing that people can just do that. I'm assuming not because I can't. I can't do it. Um, hmm. Especially hmm. the crab thing. The crab thing is really would be really uh, difficult for me. Um, but, uh, yeah, it'd just be difficult for me. Um, but yeah. Uh, hmm. So yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, it's it's been cool. It's been helpful. Helpful. I feel like you maybe needed to know that. Um, I don't know. I just got a sense. Well, thanks. I I did. Do you want another cup of milk? You can. You know, I can get you a milk. Yeah. Or, or you can, or if you, or if you, or if you want something like more than milk, I can, I can, because I know others buy like the others like, like wine and beer and stuff. I, I, I can't, I don't like them. Milk but, is cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and orders another milk. I think I need to head back over there and and just see what the others are. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. I'm about. just going to um. I'm just going to hang out here for a little bit. That's... Okay. But thank you. But, th but, but yeah, no, thank, thank, thank you. He has a shy smile on his face. And Moss will not quite skip back over, but she's kind of slightly more bouncy than when you first saw her. Um... No. So how's it going over here? Are you lost okay? Yeah. Um She's in the fetal position after seeing what he saw. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, we're just um just having just having a chill here. Um I would say like before, like while um Moss and Karen are chatting, I'll be having a chat with um AJ. AJ will chat back with you. About All the, the excitement of having another performer in the group. Yeah, do you all agree on that? <sighs> if okay. you if you want, um, Moss, we can go out and see if we can get you some better clothing, better warm clothes. Definitely, if we can get you some better shoes, I'll um I'll pitch in for you. Shoes. For sure, yeah. Um, what's the time by this point, John? I it's it's very late at night at this point, so a shopping trip is probably a a next day. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that situation. In the yeah, situation. We'll get that done in the morning, and um... this is the situation. Everyone can come, or we can just take a few people. Up to you. If you guys are going to head off from here pretty quickly, do you need supplies too? I... No, we've we've got quite a few uh, the things that we need, and uh... we have enough potions though. Ooh, that is it. Does anywhere in this town sell potions? I don't remember there being one, and. Um... I can't remember if we got any. Oh, no. It's not Cherish, it's um, Lady D got them. Poor um, old Lady D. <laughs> yeah, Lady, Lady D's <laughs> recently got some potions. Uh, 
You I haven't looked for though. potions in East Haven, so you hmm. don't know if there's somewhere to buy them or not. We, look, I'm I'm willing to do a bit of exploration just just to find some other bits and bobs in order to like stock up before we move out again. We should be good on food, and then I just tap the cauldron that's sitting next to me. Oh yeah, <laughs> that <clears throat> like like turning to like more saying that cauldron is like the best thing ever. Uh, Remind me, does it East Haven? Does it offer? What does it offer to the to the storm? Yeah, what does it sacrifice? Uh, East Haven sacrifices humans. Oh fuck! Oi! Yeah. Tell that to Moss, please. Mm. Yeah, that means it's more bigger. So my guess is it is it is one of the three big towns. So. Let's see if we can't find a magic item shop in it. See if we can, or a, an apothecary of some sort. There, there might at the very least be an apothecary. Mm. Well then, so definitely go out and we'll go get some sleep tonight, and then go out first thing and do a bit of shopping. <laughs> yeah, that that sounds good. In the meantime, okay. we should spend the night here. You know what? That actually makes me feel a bit nice and easy now, knowing that the fact there is another female in the group. <laughs> Joe just says. Yeah, I guess. I guess that must be weird. Yeah, yeah. It's the fact is that they're just like I'm surrounded by men. It's just like. Hmm. It's not exactly the best kind of company. The only person who has company is AJ and Carrion. But alas, um, let's... I am wounded. <laughs> By words? I'm betting with you, Brem. Come on, let's get I've some... I've been food. slain! Brem! <laughs> my, my intestines are on the table. And they've been stabbed. I just turned to Marseille. He's... I'm just joking with him. Moss is just that grinning, looking between the two of you like you're in a tennis match. <laughs> oh. Oh, I've been slain. Oh, how a friend wounds me. <laughs> I'm wonderful company. Thank you very much. You seem nice. Thank you. It seems like there's been a, some sort of title a bit around here, and I don't know where who got it from, who got said it, it, but they started calling him the daddy of the group. Oh. I don't know where that came from, but he, he, seemed, he is definitely... No, I don't, I don't, I don't think... I don't know I, who that came from. I don't think... I, no. <laughs> but uh, no, he's, he's definitely a person that we tend to... He's... He's uh, almost uh, level, uh, level headed in response. Yeah, definitely. Try to uh, be. Uh, I'll also be there to pick you up if you ever fall down in a fight. Noted. That's cool. I'll endeavour to stay out of the way for the most part. Charles. And as the night wears on, you drink <clears throat> several more milks and or whatever else you uh, partake no in. Mm. <laughs> and... I would say, like, as um, as me and uh, Moss are, like, getting ready for bed, like, Cherish would say, like, um, her reasoning for why she's in Icewind Dale was just to do with the fact that um, she's finding her siblings, so... Oh, you're finding people too. Yes. That's cool. Maybe we can help each other. Maybe. Most likely. I don't suppose you came across a, a blonde hair girl about this height and a teeth thing? Not, Not this last week. Where, where's the shirt of us? Before you? that, I don't know. Um, As Moss is getting ready for bed, she... You're in one of the upstairs rooms and there's rafters and she strings a hammock between the rafters and sleeps up there and climbs up weirdly easily. 
Seems like a lot of fun to sleep up there. Is it cosy at all? It's warmer up here. The, the heat comes up and um, I don't feel right sleeping down low. If I can sleep higher, I prefer it. I wonder if that's how you were doing that beforehand, before you're losing the memory. Maybe. Maybe. I heard that's a muscle memory kind of thing. Like, it just automatically happens. Hmm, maybe. Maybe one day we'll find out. Hopefully mm. soon. And we sleep. And sleep. Sleepy sleep. As you sleep, all... Sleep. As you all DM, fall asleep. DM, is there one thing I can do quickly before we go to sleep? No. As you all fall asleep, Dax does <laughs> one final thing. Um, uh, he goes and kills the old lady. <laughs> <laughs> There's no chances. Uh, no, basically it was to try and uh, speak to his mums and uh, ask about if this who this person is, if they know anything. Uh, but obviously, I don't know. They don't. They always respond. They don't. You know. Roll me a natural. Uh, roll me a natural twenty. Just roll a twenty right now. Yeah. Roll yeah. a d twenty for me. No, that's not good. Uh, you, you reach out in in your mind to your parents, your your mothers, and you beseech them for aid and assistance, and you get the magical response along the lines of, "The number you have called cannot take yeah. your call right now." Your call is important to us. Please leave your name and number after the beep. Beep. It, it, it's Dax. Uh, please get in touch when you can. Machine full. <laughs> God damn it, mothers. Oh, and welcome to the crafty carver. <laughs> <laughs> and I also did want to like try and search my memory for like acrobats, circuses, any time I've encountered such people. Roll a history check. Ooh. Ooh. Um, you... You've travelled fairly far and wide. Hmm. Uh... So I would assume that Dax has, if not gone to the circus, at the very least, been in town when circuses have also been in that town. Hmm, that seems likely. Um, you try to comb your memory for any uh, performer that looks like Moss but you keep drawing blanks you've you've potentially seen a, a number of shows but mm. this is this is uh, this exact performer does not match anyone that you can remember ever having seen okay or the outfit or the outfit Okay. And with that, you drift off to sleep. Uh... Dreams assault you. I'm 92, you know! <laughs> you, you dream of going to try and kill the old lady. And she... My AC is 92, you know! <laughs> White. Um, 
I attack with the moldering biscuit of death! <laughs> she just pulls out a giant battle glaive and swings it. And... She takes out her, like, her teeth and then replaces them with very sharp teeth. <laughs> dentures. Fucking dentures, yeah. Uh, no, this... I mean, this may happen in Dax's mind, but it does not happen in reality. Um... You all get a nice night's sleep and possibly the last warm night of sleeping in a tavern you are going to have for quite some time as your plans uh, revolve around you heading out into the tundra and uh, exploring out there quite extensively as you search for the lost spire. But now, added to the group, we have the new mysterious Moss. Hello, Shah. Hi. Welcome to the team. Hi. 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 Um. Can <laughs> <laughs> I? Yeah, I mean, who? Who exactly? That is. That is the question. Um. Thank you, guys. <laughs> in the chat so much for uh, watching along with us uh, especially if you managed to stick through the time when Streamlabs decided it didn't want to do that first bit of its own name anymore mm. um, 